can you just explain what's the difference between what you're announcing today and what, uh, what you announced last spring? Well, in June, we announced a global plan uh, to make sure that uh, we would accompany the uh, tourist uh, industry and to make sure that Quebecers could uh, and would visit Quebec and putting money in their pockets in Passeport à train, with the example of Passeport à train. Today, we are having, we're presenting a second layer of help uh, to the industry uh, that uh, will add up to $65.5 million. We don't know yet when the tourist and the tourism industry will be able to go back to what it was before the pandemic. It can take 18 months, it can take two years. And we see you making the efforts to put as much money on the table, but can we be realistic here? How many players do you want to save? The objective when we launched our plan in June is to make sure that we had a summer season and that we would accompany uh, the uh, touristic industry until December 2021. With the additional measures that we're presenting today, it's to make sure that we go to spring and summer in addition to the other programs that are uh, up and running that will bench until December 2021. For the uh, uh, tourism, uh, the business tourism in, in Montreal, yes. you said in French that the $2.5 million, this is to save the expertise. This is not to reassure people working in this sector in Montreal. What do you tell them today? This is what you want to do, Mrs. Pro, is to save at least the expertise? At least the expertise, but also to make sure that we go and secure uh, conventions, major conventions that need to be worked three, four, five years in advance. That's how the, uh, this type of industry works. It has to be negotiated a long, long time ahead. So that's what Tourisme Montréal and Le Palais des Congrès de Montréal will be doing with that $2.5 million, plus working on what we call hybrid uh, tourism d'affaires. I remember the announcement that you made going into the summer tourism industry. You made, um, that's when you announced the passport, for instance, and you encouraged Quebecers to go out and visit places that they hadn't seen in their own province. Uh, we are now approaching December, which would be normally the busiest uh, time of year for, for restaurants and, and even hotels and, and other uh, companies. And the situation is changed. We're not telling Quebecers to go out to these places. We're telling them to stay in and reduce their social contacts. If I were... Uh, uh, an owner of a business right now, I wouldn't even be able to put into words how that makes me feel. All I would feel is, <gasps> do you know what I mean? And I don't hear in your um, speech, I don't hear that sort of panic, that sort of anxiety reflected in what you're saying. Because even with these announcements today, those owners are still feeling, <gasps> Well, my job is to reassure, and that's why we're coming up today with additional measures. As for uh, winter, um, you know, we had excellent news for families, for uh, lovers of uh, uh, skiing, uh, racketing, uh, snowshoeing, uh, fat bike, uh, snowmobile. We had the authorization of the health services that we could practice, yes, yes, differently than uh, the precedent years, but yes, we will be able to ski, we, we will be able to snowshoe, we will be able to fat bike, and that is going to help, of course, a region. When I'm leaving a red zone, I'm going into a red zone to, to do some snowshoe. Well, you know, I'm generating some, some, some activities. But that's a very, very small part of the tourism industry. If you look at the tourism industry globally um, and the fact that we have to shut down during the busiest season, what would normally be their busiest season, that's bad, right? 
Well, that's why we things have, don't look good. Well, that's why we have a strong plan. Uh, $750 million in June, uh, another $13.4 million in, in April, $8.7 million with uh, Passeport Hattray in September. Today, we uh, add up another $38 million for uh, the uh, l'hébergement, so close to $52 million in addition to Le Pacte Tourisme. Uh, I think uh, we are putting in place a lot of measures to accompany these, uh, these enterprises.